The stunning landscapes of Oman may look like empty wilderness, but in reality, they are home to a hidden conservation heritage. This was the theme for the third Oman Natural Heritage Lecture at the Royal Geographical Society in London. His Excellency Said Beda bin Hamad al Busaidi, Secretary General of Oman's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, was among the distinguished guests at this now annual event. Welcoming the audience to the Society's grand lecture hall, His Excellency explained how the environment has long been a concern for Oman. We were truly blessed that His Majesty Sultan Qaboos had the vision and the foresight to establish an office for conservation of the environment. As long ago as the early 70s, I believe, you know, I've heard 1972, some say around 74, but what I clearly remember, I was only 12 years old. <laughs> and that is a long time ago. Tonight, we will learn about the Arabian Tahr, and the Nubian Ibex from two field scientists who are currently and actively studying these magnificent creatures in their natural habitat. Without the imaginative efforts for conservation in the early days, in days gone by, the Tahar and Ibex would simply no longer be here today. They would have become extinct. So, the natural heritage we have today is almost entirely a reflection of the foresight and the hard work of those who came before. Dr. Mansour al-Jadami then gave an overview of the many bodies working to preserve Oman's biodiversity. The presence of multiple organizations is a reflection of the commitment and concern of the country, of our country, Oman, and the civil society with regard to protecting the natural environment. Haytham al Rawahi, a wildlife biologist working for OCE, explained how high tech cameras are helping save the endangered Taha by giving a better understanding of its habits like scraping holes in the ground, a key part of the mating process. We can see in this video a group of Arabian Tahar, which is, consists of a largest male and two adult female. They are scraping with, uh, with different uh, scraping behavior. <laughs> the audience also heard about the hardships endured by OCE teams to gather valuable information about rare breeds like the Nubian ibex. The reason why we take nearly 12 hours in the field is because, for example, the furthest camera from the reserve is around 200 kilometers. But we have to travel through very difficult terrain, gravel desert, over cliffs, and, some, and sometimes we have to find alternative routes to get to the camera. And uh, unfortunately, the best and the safest time to work is during the day. And during the day, temperatures can exceed 50 degrees Celsius. The speakers were then joined by Mutab al Ghafri to answer questions before the formal proceedings were closed with a moving tribute to Oman. Oman is a country from which dreams are made. Beautiful scenery, a delicious food, the evocative call to prayer, particularly at dusk, but most importantly, delightful, friendly and hospitable people. We are all guardians of the environment and what we have seen this evening is work that secures Oman's natural beauty for future generations. Afterwards, His Excellency Said Beda toured an exhibition of photos by OCE. It was a fine opportunity to appreciate why Oman's natural heritage is worth preserving for the children of today as they grow up.